Contrary to what you may have heard, Thursday was graduation day for Collier County Schools. The confusion stems from the week before when seniors received their diplomas with the traditional pomp and circumstances, but thousands of additional students graduated a week later, moving from one grade to the next. Most notably, fifth graders graduated to middle school and eighth graders have earned the right to call themselves incoming high school freshmen. Ceremonies at the schools marked the occasions. I was not asked to speak at a fifth or an eighth grade graduation ceremony, again, but if I had, I'm pretty sure I know what I would have said. I'd say the same things every commencement speaker has said at every high school and college graduation over the past century, only I'd say it to a younger audience. Things like, today is not the end, but the beginning. The beginning of acne, the beginning of feeling awkward around girls, and go out and make your way through this world but mainly make your way through the hallways. You're changing classes four or five times a day now and you've only got a couple of minutes to do it, so hurry along. Make your mark on the world by writing your name on all your books and personal possessions. With all that moving around, things are going to get lost. Don't be afraid to fail. Unless it's on your FSA and FCAT tests, you should be afraid of failing them. Pay it forward. Your lunch account, I mean. Make sure there's a healthy balance in there. You're a bottom lips pit now when it comes to eating. Don't be satisfied just to follow in the footsteps of those that have gone before you. They tracked gum all over the hall. Trust your instincts to be wrong most of the time. Listen to your parents and your teachers. You're still a kid. Follow your dreams. Accept that one with you and the head cheerleader. It's probably best to keep that dream to yourself. Knowledge is the key to unlocking your potential and your locker. So know the combination and don't forget it. And finally, good luck. You're going from being the toughest, biggest, oldest kids on the campus to being the littlest and the youngest. You're going to need it. I'm Brent Batten. Be sure to check out my column on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays in the Naples Daily News. And as always, thanks for watching.